Today's topic of discussion is laboratory diagnosis of bleeding disorders. Investigation of disordered vascular hemostasis. First one, uh, bleeding time. This uh, bleeding time, the test is depending upon capillary function as well as platelet number. So, bleeding time depending upon two things. One is capillary function, second one is platelet number and the ability of platelet to adhere to form aggregates. So, ability of platelet to adhere to form aggregates. Normal range 3 to 8 minutes. So, bleeding time depending upon capillary function as well as platelet number, ability of platelet to adhere to form aggregates. Normal range 3 to 8 minutes. Then prolonged time, bleeding time is prolonged in thrombocytopenia, disorder of platelet function, von Willebrand's disease, then vascular abnormalities. So, bleeding time is prolonged in four conditions. What are the conditions? Thrombocytopenia, disorders of platelet function, von Willebrand's disease and vascular abnormalities. HES Hapillary Resistant Test. Second one is HES Hapillary Resistant Test. It is positive in increased capillary fragility and thrombocytopenia. So, has ability, a capillary resistant test, has capillary resistant test. It is positive in two tests. One is increased capillary fragility and thrombocytopenia. Next, Investigation of platelets and platelet function. First test, screening test. In this screening test, peripheral blood platelet count, skin bleeding time, examination of blood film to see morbologic abnormalities of platelet. So, investigation of platelets and platelet function First test name is called as screening test. In this screening test, peripheral blood count, peripheral blood platelet count, skin bleeding time and examination of blood time to see morphological abnormalities of platelet. Second one is special test. In this special test, we have platelet addition test, aggregation test, granular content and platelet coagulant activity. So, what are the special tests? Platelet addition test, aggregation test, granular and platelet, platelet coagulant activity. Platelet coagulant activity. Next one is investigation of blood coagulation screening test. Third test, investigation of blood coagulation screening test. In this one, whole blood coagulation time, normal range 4 to 9 minutes at 37 degrees Celsius. So, screening test, whole blood coagulation time, normal range 4 to 9 minutes at 37 degrees. Uh, second one is activated partial Thermoplastin time activated partial thermoplastin time APTTR. It also called partial thermoplastin time with choline PTTK. Partial thermoplastin time with choline. It is used to measure the intrinsic factor. 8, 9, 11, 12 as, as well as factor common to both intrinsic and extrinsic factor um, 5, 10, prothrombin and fibrinogens. So, this, this test used to measure intrinsic as well as extrinsic factors. Intrinsic factor 8, 9, 11 and 12. Then, extrinsic factor 5, 10, prothrombin and fibrinogen that normal range 30 to 40 second it is prolonged in parenteral ad administration of heparin 
disseminated intravascular coagulation liver disease and circulating anticoagulant it is prolonged in parenteral administration of heparin disseminated intravascular coagulation liver disease and circulating anticoagulant then one stage prothrombin time prothrombin time measure the extrinsic system factor 7 as well as factor in common pathway the normal prothrombin time 10 to 14 second so one stage prothrombin time it is measure extrinsic system 7 timing 10 to 14 second next one is it is prolonged in the one stage prothrombin time prolonged in administration of oral anticoagulant drugs liver disease especially obstructive liver disease vitamin k deficiency and disseminated intravascular coagulation this one stage prothrombin time prolonged in administration of oral anticoagulant drugs liver disease vitamin k deficiency and disseminated intravascular coagulation calculation then measurement of fibrinogens measurement of fibrinogen screening test for fibrinogen deficiency are semi quantitative fibrinogen titer and thrombin time so what are the screening test for fibrinogen deficiency are semi quantitative fibrinogen titer and thrombin time the normal value of thrombin time is under 20 second while fibrinogen titer in plasma duration up to uh, 32 is the normal so uh, that thrombin time under 20 second and, and fibrinogen titer in plasma 32 is normal uh, these tests are raised in two conditions one is hypofibrinogenemia uh, hypo then a raised concentration of fdp so two condition this test raised one is hypofibrinogenemia and raised concentration of fdp next special test coagulation factor assay and quantitative assay a special test for measurement of fibrinogen coagulation factor assay and quantitative assay next investigation of fibrinolytic system fibrinolytic system investigation of fibrinolytic system uh, estimation of fibrinogen fibrin degradation product in the serum ethanol gelatin test then whole blood lysis time euclobin euclobin or whole blood lysis time so investigation of fibro fibrolytic system estimation of fibrinogen fibrin degradation product ethanol gelatin time then euclobin or whole blood lysis time so in this video we discussed the laboratory diagnosis of bleeding disorder the first one is bleeding time normal range 3 to 8 minutes then what are the bleeding time is prolonged in thermocytopenia uh, disorder of platelet function then von Willebrand disease then vascular deformities then has capillary resistant test investigation screening test special test investigation of blood coagulation in this one screening test activated partial thromboplastin time partial thromboplastin time in choline then intrinsic factor and extrinsic factor normal range 30 to 40 second then one stage prothrombin time A special test investigation of fibrinolytic system
थैंक्स फॉर